Yes. There's the RTU right there, Chris. She's not cooling. Sucks for them. <laughs> <laughs> Says one way, do not enter. All right, we gotta go around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at our next service call. Today is You've arrived. Wednesday. Destination is on your right. Oh, shut up, Waze. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. The year is 2022. We'll let the jogger go by. Oh, he's multitasking, I see. And let's get on that RTU over there, the RTU. It's a nice little uh, commercial property over here. We're in Malvern, which is on Long Island. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I promise I won't disappoint. And if I do, well, go play in traffic. <laughs> Say hi, Air Force Nun. Hello. I'll go play in traffic now. Go play in traffic. All right. It ain't cool. And I got some history, though. A couple years ago, we gassed her up. Like a little gas and go. Oh, give her some gas. Along. You know, give and go. You farted. A little bit of gas for her. A little bit of gas. All right. Let's try to keep it family oriented. You know, I got to make keep the people of Bosch, you know, happy. Because you know, they, they they like me to be the next Mike Holmes, but for YouTube. Maybe a platinum member would be nice. Plat yeah, platinum Bosch ABC contract, those would be epic. Because right now I'm only at gold. And with the amount of Bosch that I install, like boatloads. Psh, all right, guys, let's get going. We are gonna go up on this roof. Let's see what's going on. Check out this RTU. Problem with having this, this ladder rack, though, you know, you park on the on the, on the side of the street, yeah. you hit the uh, you hit the trees. Oh, that's, that's my third. Hey, well, good morning. Good, well, good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. It's been a long day. How you been? Yeah. 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 Everything been good. Yeah. Excellent. How's, it going? How's it going? How's your father-in-law's uh, ductless systems? Awesome. Thank no God. Much. Thank God. I know that thing was that was terrible. That was a disaster. Everything else. I'd never get to that again. Actually, <laughs> they are the reason why I was like, I'm not, I'm not getting these. Yeah. In any other house. I'll stick with the old fashioned. Yeah, believe it or not, you know, the, the copper lines yeah. were the links at the end of the day. Crazy. But he went through so much. We went through so much aggravation in the process. Oh, and then you were like the third person. That I know. And they were like, oh, we have, we have to die here, the super seal, and this is not. I'm like, no. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. Stop but... doing the headaches. Just get it done right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Stop cooling? No, cooling fine. Oh, good. It just started leaking. Water? Water into one of the rooms. And it doesn't look like water should be coming there, so I figured it might be the overflow of the pan. Okay, we'll check it out. But, but it's cooling well. It's, this one's cooling well. Right. At home, we're a little bit off. We probably need to start at home. Probably need a good cleaning. It's, it's yeah. been a year and a half. I, need it's been, I think it's been more than that. No, I did the one you gave me. Oh, you did? No, okay. Yeah, I did the one you gave me. Excellent. But then after that, you know. That's the one up on the unit, right? We put the, 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 the four inch media filter on the unit, right? Yes. Yeah. And I the carrier. We're redoing the house in a little bit. So. Okay. We're gonna probably have to redo the whole thing. We're doing like 2,000 square feet up top and the basement. We're digging out some of the basement, so we'll probably need a hole. Yeah, yeah we're. Uh, do you do the ductless? Yeah. yeah. You're good too. Ball, ball park. Figure around 4,000 a unit. It's not bad. Yeah, but that's on the high side. So say, let's say you're doing two off of one out one outdoor. Obviously much cheaper. But you figure if I'm doing just one. It's around four, forty-two hundred. Can you mount them to the house? That's the high up. Yeah, of course. That's what we do. We're buying a house in East Rockaway. Okay. Just because I don't want to, I don't want to have to mess up with the ours. Okay. It's a little Smart. two bedroom, but it's got the window units, and I'm like, my dad's like, oh, why don't you get those? I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but that's not terrible. Honestly. Nah. Probably not a good idea to come up this way. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what way we did come up. I think the front. Yeah, we did the front. Okay, be careful with that. You know what? Move that somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, do it in the front of the house. In front of the front of the house. Front of the building. Okay. Only because you actually are touching the ground. 
Well, the... I don't think it's power. And it's coded anyway, whatever. Okay, it's co well, it goes to that telephone pole. Yeah, telephone. Okay. Yeah, it's... Oh, they usually don't wrap telephone like that, though. Braided like that. All right. All right. No problem. Find anything exposed, just don't touch it. You know? Yeah. Or lick it before you stick it. It's a 12-volt battery. See this line. All right, we've got a ream. 410A. And she's leaking water, huh? We're probably right where we were. It did it for a little bit, oh. and then it stopped. Look at this. That's the must be the overflow. Yeah, all right, let's get the drill. Let's get the 516s on. Let's take off panel number one, panel number two. Okay, you need filters. Fortunately, the the micro channel evaporator coil is still clean, which is good. But you need filters. So here's your condensate pan. See all that crap in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. So Chris, we need. Oh, why is it all pitched? To the back. It's all pitched to the back, and that's why. It looked like it was coming over a vent. Like it didn't look like it. Should yeah. Be water there. The unit, let's get the, I know this is a bad level to try, but. Yeah, there's a lot of water in the front. Oh yeah, you're flying. You're flying the wrong direction. That's why. The unit settled on the roof. And that's why I put that down. Yeah. Way. This is not gonna be easy. We're gonna that's have why to. they have wood boards there, I'm assuming? Yeah. yeah. They dealt with this once before? They jacked up the size here. On this side, the side, <coughs> the angle iron with a like, a like a base plate. That's why you're leaking water. So it's coming. Everything's coming back this way. Yep. We're gonna have to uh, jack this side up, not disturb the ductwork, right? Which may get disturbed to make sure that that pan is now level. Because if the unit's not level, the unit's pitching the wrong way. There's a source of water. It's gonna keep happening until the unit is properly pitched. She's draining. It's no longer down there, it's over here as well. And now we have to deal with supply and return plenum. We just jacked the side up. But let's deal with the gap. Let me get the feedback from the community. How do you guys handle something like this where the roof isn't pitched properly to begin with, which means that my curb adapter isn't pitched properly. And now that the unit is pitched or level, I have drainage now, but now I have a gap between the unit and the supply and return plenums. It's annoying. All right, I hate to be a hack, but we are draining well now, and we use a half a roll of mastic tape. Ugh. I am brainstorming a way of making repairs to this. Now it's level. It may not look level, but it is level. The torpedo doesn't lie, but without replacing the curb adapter and compensating for the off levelness, I don't know of another way. You know, we had a gap of about this much around both supply and return uh, plenum connections at the bottom of the unit. So I hate to do it. And guys, whoever's watching and thinking, hey, Mikey Pipes, this is what you should do. Let me know in the comments section down below, you know? We're only as good as what we know, what we learn from one another. And learn something, each, learn something new every day. Okay, that's all she wrote, folks. So, like I said, not as high as a 911 Turbo S. As I was saying, I am not aware of a way besides replacing the, the curb adapter and making sure it ha it's Measured on the right angle that the roof is on, blah, blah, blah. Let me get your thoughts and feedback. I hate doing a hack work. I'd rather not do any work at all. I'd rather not even go to work than do a hack job. But in this particular case, now we left with about an inch, almost an inch and a half gap, especially on the side that we elevated. But we use mastic tape on the inside to seal it, fill in the gap between the unit and the plenum ductwork itself. And I know I'm gonna take a lot of heat for this, but oh, I just for sure. Yeah. But as a cost-effective solution, this works. And it's not gonna last a lifetime. You know, it's like duct tape. It's it's like a flex seal. So keeping it real, uncut, raw. I'm po I post it like I see it. 
So let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. All right, guys, be well. God bless. Stay safe. Catch you in the next one.